And I look good? Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to make taco casserole. Mm. And this one's got a couple twists and turns on it, which I think are going to be pretty cool. One of it is we're going to use hash browns. So let's get to it. We've got a baking sheet with parchment paper. We're going to use hash browns. I'm not going to use the whole bag. I probably could have. But I want to try and get these a little crispy. Or at least partially cooked before they go in the crock pot. So I take about half the bag. It might have been even a little less. But spread it out. I sprayed the bottom of the parchment paper for a reason. Because it's oil. We're going to spray the top. And that should help crispy it up a little bit. And just follow the directions. Throw it in the oven. You don't need to cook it the whole time. I think I did about a half an hour. That was plenty. Now into our frying pan. About a tablespoon of oil of course. Let her warm up. And this is about... Eh, Three quarters cup of onions. Not quite one big onion. We're going to mix around in the oil just because I like doing it that way. And the idea is we're going to kind of get this down till it starts getting a little char on it. Now you could put this in the slow cooker raw. And the same thing with the hash browns. I just don't think I want to do it that way. I know from a lot of dishes where uh, casseroles or, you know, large pots of stuff, if you want them cooked, you pretty well got to do it before you throw it in. Now, it just depends on your personal taste. So here's our onions. They browned up enough. A few minutes in the frying pan. They've also, they also shrank down, which is why I probably could have made a bit more. But there you go. There's our onions right there. Now I put a little bit of water back in the frying pan. Just to kind of get all the oniony stuff off the bottom. And here goes our hamburg, our ground beef. Now I'm going to be adding taco seasoning to it too so I did need some water anyway and I find the water does help break down the ground beef we'll throw a little bit of salt maybe a teaspoon teaspoon of pepper and of course as always that's to your own liking you can put as much or as little as you want in There, so here's our taco seasoning. One packet. We're just going to dump it in. Now, I didn't worry too much about getting the exact amount of water the packet said because this is going in a slow cooker anyway. I just want to make sure it kind of cooks down with the ground beef. That well, looks good. So here's our hash browns half done. And you can see they're just starting to brown. I'm going to throw them back in for another 15. And here they are. So this is after half an hour. They're looking brownish. I guess, I, you know, I could have left them in another 15 and really got them brown. But this ought to work. Okay, out comes our crock pot. Get our cooking spray in there just because we don't want it sticking too much. Layer number one, our hash browns. And you can see it just covered the bottom. Ah, you know, I might have been able to put in another good big handful into the pan. I think that would have worked out well. Next layer, all that ground beef with taco seasoning. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, let's get everything out. There we go. And that's enough to spread on the bottom. 
Our onions are next. That will go on top. And of course, I'm trying to make them as even as possible. There. Looks good. Now, this is one can of cheese soup. I think it's kind of funny because we're going to put some shredded cheese on the top. But you know what? It's still going to be good. Next up, this is one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies if you got them. Just to give it a little bit of kick. Ooh, and sour cream. Yep, we're going to throw some sour cream in there. Now, I've only got about a cup left out of that container. Now, how do I know? Because that container is two cups. I've measured it. And there's only about a half of half of a container left of sour cream. So that would be the one cup of sour cream we're going to throw in. It doesn't spread very well, so I gave up that idea. Just make sure we get all of it out. There. Looking good. Okay, so maybe not the cleanest way of doing it. Our last ingredient. Shredded cheese. About two cups. Or in my way of measuring it, how about three good handfuls? I find one cup's about a handful and a half. And really, at the end of the day, does it matter whether it's two cups or three cups or whatever? It's cheese. So we put the lid on, throw it on, push it away. We'll come back to that later. And it's going to cook on low for about four hours. So this is the halfway part. We're two hours in. I'm just checking it out. We're going to give it a stir. I think it needs it at this point. And it's smelling good. And, you know, ultimately everything's cooked. We're just looking to kind of meld all the flavors together. So the four hours should ought to do it. Lid back on. Ooh, here we are. We are at the end, and I've got a bowl. And we're going to throw some into a bowl. Put the lid back on. There you go. Our slow cooker taco casserole. A little bit of green onions chopped up on top for good looks. And there you go. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.